Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set up service items in the item list for services you provide. This helps you avoid repeatedly typing line item information into sales forms. Like all items, you create service items by first opening the item list. To create a new service item, click the item button in the lower left corner of the list window and select the new command. In the new item window, select service from the type dropdown. The fields that appear in the new item window are similar to the one shown when creating inventory part items. First enter a name for the service into the item name or number box. If you want this service to be a sub-item of another service, check the sub-item of checkbox and then select the main service item under which the current item should be categorized from the adjacent drop-down menu. Enter a description of the service to display in invoices and sales receipts into the description field. Enter the rate, set the tax code, and assign the amount to an income account by using the account drop-down. For services purchased and then applied to customer invoices, such as subcontractor labor, you can check the This Service is Used in Assemblies or is Performed by a Subcontractor or Partner checkbox to change the fields available. If checked, this changes the fields to resemble the ones used when creating inventory part items. In this case, you enter information for the purchasing aspect of the service into the fields shown in the Purchase Information section. Then enter information used for the sales aspect of the service into the sales information set of fields. This then allows you to use the service item in both purchase and sales transactions if necessary. After you've created the service item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.